This is going to be one of the best technical analysis videos you have ever seen in your life. Big expectations, but that is what you've come to expect with chart champions, only the best. So we're going to start here going through the Bitcoin chart. Um, quite a lot to cover, actually. I want to keep this focused, but also just like there is just wow there's so much insights knowledge and just information in general that you can really take from this video watch it two three four times over and just give it your full attention and um, you know it's one of those that you'll thank yourself about because what did we have here ladies and gentlemen we had we've obviously been trading this triangle now for over a week uh, obviously recognizing it very early on um, managing obviously to trade the lows back up to the highs yesterday and this is what we're going to focus on this section of the chart giving us this drop this morning depending on where you live good morning good afternoon and uh, good night um, but of course let's let's keep this professional as we go into the chart and I want to focus right on this section of the chart starting off with the past you know really 12 16 hours of price action and then moving on to where we are right now and you know how i am currently trading this so hope that you enjoy and and let's begin so as i said before we get on to what's happening right now let's cover this section of the chart because this is just so important it really is um, we can't kind of you know you know just it's just massively important if you want to become a good trader uh, obviously, this this rise all started up from if you were paying attention from that 30, 36, 850 level that we were looking at on stream the other day. That obviously held up in the end very well. And we saw this bounce coming up to around thirty nine thousand uh, dollars. Thirty nine thousand dollars obviously being a resistance we've been aware of for quite a while now to the upside. Uh, why? Well, it was you know, actually we had coming on. We had a lot of confluence here. I'm not going to lie. Um, but obviously, we could say maybe one of the primary reasons which was many people were looking at themselves is obviously this triangle this had become a pattern um you know like we were saying like when we recognized it early on nobody was talking about the triangle but as it came you know as it progressed and progressed and progressed yesterday everybody was looking at the triangle okay and obviously some people are drawing it in different ways obviously my triangle has been connecting these two highs but i've seen other people connecting like these and like connecting this high with this high whatever way you look at it whether you had the my triangle version whether you had this triangle we had basically seen a breakout okay or we had broken the high of the the trend line whichever way you draw it it's, it's broken on every every way even if you take the higher term time frame trend line that i've been trading from as well that also was tapped so Basically, yesterday we had a lot of people very bullish, um, very bullish. Today, yeah, things change very quick, but you know, obviously now who to trust as we go forwards. But anyway, as we're saying, yesterday became, you know, a lot of people turning very bullish. But this is the thing. Yeah, where do you be bullish, ladies and gentlemen? Where have I told you? You be bullish at the lows. You be bullish on drops. You do not get bullish up at the highs like this. This is what we say brain dead traders and i'm not being this to be offensive i'm not saying this to be i'm just saying this is facts this is facts if you are trying to long the breakout of that triangle i truly hand on heart can honestly say you do not know how to trade bitcoin period because no good trader would do that so yeah some people obviously did we saw multi-millions <laughs> you know of people trying to long the breakout here but this is this is the thing you have to think to yourself Okay, maybe, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't at the end of the day. Uh, as some people will say, nobody knows. But if you're CC pool, you know. Obviously, what did we have then here? So we had the point of control. We actually had a naked point of control. We had an Asian, Asian session. We had uh, old point of control. So the, the EG, we had a lot of volume there. We had a daily level, which was 39 to 60. We had um oh we had my Gartley harmonic target at 39,400. We had the triangle trend line itself, we had the breakout buyers, we had trap longs, we had a low volume breakout, we saw open interest decrease on the breakout and open interest increase on the move back down. Like, come on, this is this is actually coming on 10 factors of confluence of why you would short at between anywhere in my opinion between 39,100 and 39,600 that was the short period yeah and this is not hindsight this is this is what we've been saying for days I actually show you this very nice post uh from inside of the group again 
I truly think if you're not in the group, you're kind of losing money because, <laughs> man, the levels that we're giving are insane. Or Igor in particular. A few days ago was giving the a level of 39,100. 39,100, okay? And this was prior, you know, this, this was days ago. And he has been patient waiting for that level, yeah? Waiting for that level. We're talking thousands of dollars, you know, prior to the level. He's been waiting for that. Respect to him. So I woke up yesterday morning. This was at 8.30 in the 8.50. I love you. You're amazing. We, we're waiting for that one. We are waiting for that one. Obviously, at the time, we're trading at around 38.650. And, you know, some people getting a bit antsy. Some people getting a bit, you know, agitated, anxious. Uh, thoughts on a retest, retest of the triangle. Obviously, we're talking about this. Uh, I would not buy it. Yeah, my intentions are clear as day. The only thing I want to do here is short. I do not want to buy the retest of the triangle. I do not want to buy the breakout. But the only thing is I want to short. And where am I going to short? Waiting for the magic eagle level. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not <laughs> paying attention to this, then hey, 39,100. Remember that level as we progress through this. Okay. Obviously, so yeah, I'm saying I'm waiting for the magic eagle level. Yeah, you know, <laughs> pretty sure everybody knows where it is. Thirty nine thousand one hundred. He's been saying this days in advance. Thirty nine thousand one hundred. This sort of region. Okay, you have to have patience, and as we're saying, waiting patiently because this will be good. Again, check all the timestamps. This is exactly what we were saying yesterday at nine a.m. As you can tell, I'm dying with my throat, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna continue through this because this is just too good not to. Yeah, not to make a video on. So yeah, basically, we the, the first thing you have to remember here is we had a plan based off of technical analysis. This is, you know, some people are going to say, oh, manipulation. Some people are going to say, oh, this is Elon Musk. Some people are going to say loads of different things today. And, you know, if this isn't proof in the pudding evidence that I don't know what to say, to be honest with you. So that was our plan. Wait for that, you know, region to look for our shorts, period. Yeah. Went one step further with this one. <laughs> This was brilliant, no? Um, oh, this was pretty funny the other day. when we. <laughs> as a man, I'm flesh and blood. I can be ignored. I can be destroyed. But as a symbol, as a symbol, I am incorruptible. I can be everlasting. CC pool. We're talking about CC pool. Together we are stronger. Uh, of course, we're moving on here. This is what we posted on Twitter. Uh, if you didn't get this, then I don't know, then I kind of feel a little bit sorry for you because it was a little bit, bit cryptic. Obviously, if you're in the group, you had to fully obviously understand what that meant. 39,100. Tweeted that yesterday at 9 a.m. 9,775 times four. Yeah. Well, have a guess what that equals. 39,100. I tweeted that out in advance. And, you know, obviously a lot of people in the comments, if you were slightly confused, you just have to read some of the comments. Yeah, because it's kind of pretty obvious when you read down here, uh, when you know, you know, literally when you when you know, you know, um, except nobody knows. But this guy obviously doesn't know Eagle because Eagle literally knew where the high was going to be days in advance. But anyway, I digress. I, I did give that give did give the tweet out publicly. But obviously, if you're in the group, you know exactly what we were waiting for. So then that brings us up to this level, okay? So first, it's having the plan of waiting for the region, okay? You could have got, you could have got, like we were saying, you could have been not patient and, you know, maybe try to short here. But obviously, this was around 7 to 9 a.m. And we, in the end, top out at around uh, 12, 12, okay? Uh, well, to be precise, 11.30 a.m. UK time. So 11.30 is when we actually topped out fully. Plenty of chances to get into a short position, even topping out in the end at 1 a.m. with a swing failure pattern. OK, so if we zoom in really, really, really closely and you have a good eye, you can see you've done a swing failure pattern here for a just a few dollars. But nevertheless, swing failure pattern at 1 a.m., you know, prior to the really big breakdown. So plenty of opportunities to short. And I made it very clear throughout the day that we were short, let's be honest. Uh, so but anyway, moving on here. Um, oh, yeah, this this, this, this actually yeah, before I move on. <laughs> Guess what happened? No way, Daniel. They bought into resistance again. Dump it. We were preparing the memes and having fun still at 9 a.m. Because we literally, when Igor and Daniel look at the same level, it is GG. But anyway, back to the technical analysis. So, you know, we have fun at the same time. Yeah. So basically, we were, we were aware of the region. OK, and, and, I was, and I said at the start, really between 39,100, 39,600 for me was pretty crucial. OK, and, um, you know, emphasizing this at 10 a.m. in my group. 39,400 for me is the intraday resistance today. As I'm saying here, set alerts and wait for the reaction. 
Yeah, wait for the reaction, but I'm looking for 39,400. Obviously, Eagle had 39,100. Okay, uh, and obviously everybody else in the group also knew. I have been saying now for a week, you know, literally eight days now, that the first breakout of this triangle will be a fake out. Yeah, I've ask any contender or champion. Those that's what I've been preaching, and obviously I was still expecting it. As we come up there, obviously actually topping out. 39,400 is where I was talking about 10 a.m. Well, 11.30, we topped out at $39,440 to be precise. So, you know, missed it by $40, but hey, we move on. And this is, now this is where we started to get the breakout occurring, okay? So between 10, 30, and, you know, one hour later, we obviously started to see the breakout of the triangle. As I was telling people, watch for the reaction, watch for the volume, and watch for the open interest, Yeah. And then I gave the confirmation. The confirmation was that the breakout is on low volume. The open interest is short increasing. So this is what I say. Wait for the reaction and look at what the charts are telling you. Do not guess. Yeah, do not guess. Look at the data. Look at the charts. This is the only way to consistently make money. As we saw, we were moving up on very low volume. Look at, you know, the, the, just look at the candles, look at the time and look at the trade counts. This is obviously what we call dumb money trying to long. Yeah, it's very obvious. No, yeah, it just it was very obvious when you know what you're looking at, okay? On top of that, we see the open interest increasing on only when the shorts are opening, yeah? Shorts opening, open interest. The actual break was on low volume and declines in open interest. It's exactly what I was waiting for. And this is what we mean. We do not have to be, yeah, we were waiting for the level. We were waiting for the reaction. We had it. I gave the confirmation. This is clearly, like like Mike said as well, Mike has also taken a short, okay? And then he was also, you know, continuing. But you can see here, the only thing that we were going for was the shorts, yeah? Because it was the only trade to have. It really was the only trade to have. Mike then, obviously, as we progressed, decided, you know, because I'm scalp trading, and some people might find scalp just confusing, but Mike made, Mike made it very you know, obvious for himself that he's actually going for the swing trade here. Okay, day or a swing trade. Myself was sculpting, if you want confirmation from the coach himself, Mike, well, he was also going for the swing trade short. Okay, and that was still at 12.51, confirming to everybody that's the case. Okay, so that, that really is what we were looking at. So I hope that I have made that section clear before we move on to here. Yeah, so it all started with the plan. Igor really give the level literally days in advance from that everybody inside of the group knew we what we were waiting for okay we knew what we were waiting for okay i gave it on twitter we started getting the memes and we absolutely were loving what was going to be coming as we said here this is going to be good wait for the level well the level hit what happened next instead of just blindly shorting we well if, if you're me anyway <laughs> you wait for the reaction i confirmed it that the breakout was on low volume, the breakout is actually dumb money buying, and the actual bigger players here are, are, are building up short positions, okay? These short positions were built over the next one hour, okay? Up to, pretty funny, about 39,400. Exactly, it's predicted. But yeah, from there, we obviously, um, well, we, we can all see what happened. We've made our way down. Fun tip, that, that I, I was more than prepared to this video today come for a 15, 20 minute video and explain the loss. Why I took the short today, I was more than happy to just do a video saying, hey, this is the short that I took yesterday. These are the reasonings behind it. And this is, you know, this is where I was wrong. But hey, once again, I'm, I'm bringing you a video today. Like just, it's another win. <laughs> it is another win. So, uh, you know, I kind of was, was maybe thinking to myself, it'd be nice to go over a loss video because lots of people are like, man, this guy just keeps winning. How is this even real? Well, hey, we won again. And as as many other people did yesterday in the group, uh, this guy entered half of his short 39,100. Second half will be 39,350. Invalidation 39,600. Hey, what can we say? Um, yeah. We're here talking about another win, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's good at the end of the day. So that brings us up to where we are here now. And, um, oh yeah, before I do that, I'll just show you really clearly that we were making it, if you're not following us on, tw on Twitter, you are literally missing out because we made it very, 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 very clear to the public. We were shorting this, um, 
and literally while I was shorting it and making it very clear I was shorting it, we were getting trolled by many people simultaneously. Ha, you're short and you're going to get wrecked. Why would you short a breakout? All these sort of things, like, it's hilarious. But like we say here, let them laugh at you. I'm just going to listen to the sensei uh, and be a good, obedient fella, obviously, with the short positions there. This guy taking the first short he's ever taken. Oh, you think triangles are your ally? But you merely adopted the triangle. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see breakouts until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blinding. Breakouts betray you because they belong to C.C. Paul, tweeted 21 hours ago. I mean, let's be honest, we made it very clear indeed what we were doing here. Not lots of reasons to short, shorts, shorts. Uh, talking about shorts, uh, when people try and be funny, but then they get wrecked, my short is going to be, oh, this guy's actually blocked me, which is kind of funny. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the, 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 the guy blocked me. Uh, oh, no, I blocked him, actually. I, I blocked the trolls. This guy kind of started laughing at us because, hey, we were uh, shorting in a, in a breakout. Why would you do that? Hey. But anyway, yes, there you go. Met very, very, we made it pretty obvious, know that we were literally shorting for that region. Anyway, that brings us up to where we are now. Lots of people with the first shorts they've ever taken. Hey, it's been a good day. But uh, yeah, so that brings us up to where we are now. So we obviously, when we can see this, if we zoom out a little bit, let's go up to the one hour chart. Uh, what have we been looking at here? Well, really simply, what we have going on here is still the triangle. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We still have the triangle. OK, so we can see we're currently finding support at around, you know, more or less thirty six thousand dollars. Obviously, this stems from the prediction that I made. Uh, you know, this was in a members only live stream twenty uh, seventh of May. So in twenty seventh of May, we were going through this. Uh, where we were predicting the lows and highs, and obviously it went exactly as predicted. Uh, but as you can see here, th this does obviously leave us still in the triangle. So I think there's a few ways you can trade this, okay? Obviously, like we're saying, the best trades are from the low of the triangles and the high of the triangles. And obviously we were predicting that we would slightly miss the low of the triangle here and slightly breach the triangle high here. Again, pretty much exactly as predicted, but you know, these are the best, that's, you know, that's obviously a very good long, this is obviously a very good short. Here, let's be honest, do you have a very good trade where you are now? The, the answer is, you know, if you follow along here, the answer is should be no. You obviously do not have a good short here, let's be honest, you're way too late to the short. This is, this is not a good time to short, the time to short was up here. Uh, so if anything, you have to think to yourself, I have always three options in trading, long, short, or no trade. And I'm saying I would not short here, it's too late. So you only have the option of longing or no trade, in my opinion. Okay, um, you know, I personally would prefer to stay in no trade right now. Uh, you're, in a, you're in a local downtrend. Uh, you've just had a nice fake out. I think you'd either wait for a reclaim of resistance as support, wait for a local trend change, or alternatively lower, which one would argue is the best. Um, but you have to be open to always say, Hey, the market can reverse here. Uh, this isn't a level where I'm trading, so we are dependent on other people because, you know, I wouldn't get involved here personally. So, you know, you have to wait for the high probability trade. So like here, where you had 10 factors of confluence to short. Yeah, 10 factors of confluence to short. You see a move down of 8%. You know, you're trading with millions. Of, let's be honest, it's just an incredible amount of money that you can make off of this. So, um, you know, these are the times to get involved. These are the times to get involved. This is all This is all day trading territory, scope trading territory, okay? Because you're in the middle of the range here. This is for swing traders, as Mike was making it very clear, like that was his swing, you know, swing trade for, for the short. So it's like you have to time your entries. Um, is this a good swing long? Uh, you know, I would I would, uh, you know, I, I would argue no, because, I, you know, I would prefer to wait for that, you know, level of, like I'm saying, wait for the confirmation, wait for the reaction. Yeah. So, you know, I would prefer to either see a trend change here, you know, which would give us some confidence for the bulls or a move down lower to bounce off of a bigger support. That would also give some confidence for the bulls but until proven otherwise. No, this isn't a level I would long because it's in no man's land. And this isn't a level I would short because, hey, the shorts from up here. So, yeah, for me, this would be no trade, waiting either for a move down or the trend change and a reclaim of resistance as support. We could say that's probably, you know, coming come at around 37,000, uh, probably about 37,700, coming back into that one hour order block. 
So yeah, that, that, that would be my uh, tip, I suppose, uh, for the people that are in no trades. Um, my, 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 my biggest tip is <laughs> literally <laughs> just listen to what Igor does, man. Just listen to the legend. Listen listen to the legend. Um, if you're not following on Twitter, literally you're missing out because, hey, you, you would be in a trade if you, if you followed us. But um, again, I must stress, of course, though, not financial advice. So follow, follow your own risk. We're just talking about demo paper accounts, not saying anyone should place real money, of course. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, being serious now, this is just an educational entertainment video, no financial advice. OK, so really important that you remember that legal disclaimer. Um, but hey, what can we say? We are having a lot of fun in this market. It's very fun when you're winning. I'm not going to lie, but I have fun even when even when things aren't going so well. So, um, you know, obviously right now we're on a very, very, very nice winning streak. But um, that's what happens when you literally are able to, um, you know, predict these moves so well. Um, and yeah, for, final thing that I'll end with actually is because some people are always like, oh, this is because of Elon Musk. It's like, you know, do, let's be serious here. Do you, do, do you really think Elon Musk... Um, all I'm going to say is we were recognizing this as a short before anything else happened, yeah? So, you know, I've said it once and I'll say it again. Show me the charts and I'll tell you the news, yeah? If you're trading off of tweets, if you're trading off of anything else, you are you are literally late to the move and you will have lost money. Like this guy says, stop being emotional, stop blaming Elon Musk, stop longing into resistance and learn how to trade the charts with, with, with chart champions, Okay. Daniel, you are a true legend. I'm waiting for my paycheck. <laughs> I could buy a membership of Chart Champions. Everybody was bullish except you. I have a feeling maybe you are the one who controls the price of Bitcoin, not Elon. <laughs> that's hilarious, man. But um, that's you can't do that with paper money. <laughs> um, but now, when you when you have Igor with his 60 million short, just building it up, it obviously helps. Uh, anyway, thank you ever so much, everybody. I, I hope I've offered you some insights in this video in terms of you know, the technicals, the technical analysis side of things. I think I've given you some insights of what we look for, for, you know, the confirmation, uh, you know, what we were really, really were like hanging around for, for, you know, that, you know, literally that the levels of confirmation when you wait for the open interest, when you wait for the volume, that really is how you get the edge in the market. Yeah. So recognizing as soon as we start to break up there, as you can see at around 39, 200, like recognizing straight away. Yeah. This, this is, this is the time when we build shorts. Yeah. And the rest, 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 rest is history, as they say. Um, so, yeah, giving you insights on that, giving you my thoughts here of why personally I would be patient, uh, just as we have to be patient for the rise. And, um, yeah, never, never forget the levels that we give, I suppose. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the likes, get this to 2,000 likes. And, hey, even though I'm in, even though my throat is like dying, I'll do a live stream for you. Two thousand likes, I'll do a live stream. And yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna show the love, and be my guest. You can obviously share this with your friends, family, anybody else that wants to stop getting wrecked. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, I started this channel because I recognised people are getting so wrecked <clears throat> by people on social media, like literally people that have no idea what they're doing, people that are not traders, that are basically faking it. And for me, that's why I started Chart Champions, literally because I recognized um, that people are getting really wrecked out here listening to, to, to uh, you know, people that are faking it, essentially. I want to call them scammers. And, you know, started the channel in that way. And hell, we're still here doing the videos years later. You know, and, and the only reason I'm doing this is is really to try and, you know, try and show people the light, try and show people that you do not have to get wrecked listening to, um, you, you know, you, you can trade this well if you if you truly um, accept the market is not manipulated by Elon Musk. The market is not random, but it's all based off a of technical analysis and you can get these levels days, <laughs> two years in advance, let's say, um, you know, technical analysis works. If, if that sounds interesting to you, hey. We obviously do loads of community stuff, educational stuff. If you want to learn about the open interest, if you want to, you know, if you really just want to actually empower yourself and, and improve yourself, you know, and hey, we're more than happy to help you. You know, if you want to be a troll and hey, you get blocked and go back to go back to the moon boys. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you ever so much. And um, I suppose we'll end with this. CC Paul, send their regards. But also we have to end with this one. 
man we've done it again exactly as predicted that's me signing out cheers